Hello everyone. How's everyone today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Commercial farming. Well, I thought today uh, we've still got a little bit of a chance of rain. But I thought we would go up here and we would plant uh, this field that we harvested yesterday. Uh, it was wheat and I think we need to go up here and uh, you know replant it now I've got a guy up there right now he is uh, mulching the field because you got to do that or else you'll take a a, a hit on your uh, harvest but uh, yeah so let's change this over we'll put wheat back in there yeah I missed it there we go we'll put wheat back in the uh, field because uh, we will need some straw later and uh, yeah all right let's uh, get this thing unfolded and I think maybe we'll start down at this other end there's my guy out there let's get rid of these hoods guy out there is probably oh about half done uh, maybe not quite half done mulching so I thought maybe it'd be a good time to uh, get in here and start planting all right well I don't think we need any course play on this uh, I do think I'll put an AI worker on it I'll let an AI worker work on it all right Maybe he's going to work on it. Maybe he isn't. What do you think? All right, let's see. All right. Maybe we got to have the HUD up. What do you think? <laughs> well, I don't know. All right. Now we's off and rolling. Now, yes, <laughs> this is kind of a a big planter for such a small field. Uh, I think uh, we checked it the other day, and it's sixty acres. So, yeah, but uh, it's the only planter that I have. I've got three of them just like this, and they're all pulled by Big Bud. So, yeah. All right. Now let's jump out. And let's go back over and check and see what we've done. Of course, I'll have to bring the HUD back up. And it looks like we are planting wheat. We've got a 100% yield bonus. And we're fertilized 100%. 
and that is due to the fact that we left the straw right here and I don't understand why my guy has quit over there but we left the straw and uh, that gave us 50 percent and then of course the planter give us the second 50 percent and uh, that's how that goes all right well we'll go back over and we'll check out and find out why our guy has uh, decided to quit on us all right well <laughs> uh, I don't know what's been going on uh, with the game here in the last oh I don't know week or so but the AI workers uh, they're not working real good for some reason I'm <laughs> of course <laughs> uh, they've never worked real good but uh, yeah I've had a lot of problems with the AI workers so uh, I just uh, put this guy on a uh, uh, course play run and we'll plan it with course play so and he's doing a great job good job alright well let's go and see about our other guy alright Oh, looks like he's almost done. Good deal. Excellent. All right, we'll fold this guy up and get him out of the way. go down here and we'll just take him down here wash him off and uh, put him up because we don't have anything else that needs to be mulched today uh, we've got a cornfield there that we save that for the you know for the cows when we make uh, silage and uh, of course we can cut it I mean we can harvest it and it'll grow back we've got other corn fields uh, this is another wheat field right here that we can do but uh, yeah all right well I'm gonna get this guy down here get him washed up and get him put away and I'll get back with you here in just a moment all right well we're back on our planter and everything is looking great so we'll uh, we'll just let him continue It won't take him long at all uh, one problem that I've been having uh, and I don't know quite what to do about it uh, on my videos uh, I'm getting a copyright on the music that I use for my intro and uh, <laughs> yeah and I pay for the service the service comes from epidemic sound and I pay for the service but I'm still getting a copyright on it so let me know uh, if you're having some of the same problems uh, you know they've never done that before but since I have returned uh, yeah, they're 
they're giving me a copyright on it and I don't really understand it because I pay for everything. So, uh, we're going to have to get that resolved or I won't be using their music anymore. So, uh, how are you guys' farm doing today? Uh, what are you in the middle of? Of course, uh, now we don't, we don't run seasons. Uh, I just, I just don't run seasons. I would, you know, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> this, this farm is in southern Florida somewhere, and yeah, you know, uh, I don't like the snow, even though, uh, I have to put up with it in real life and have had to for all my life. Uh, I, I don't mean I like it. <laughs> uh, I just don't like it. During the winter months, I can't get anything done. Yeah. So anyway, we don't run seasons at all. And we are running a two-day uh, I guess what you'd call a two-day month. So that's what we're doing right now. And it seems to be working out okay. So probably in my next video uh, it will be November and in November is when uh, canola sells at its highest price and we just happen to have 50 million liters of it in our silo to sell so the next video that we do we will be selling our our canola now I am planting all of my big fields uh, I'm I'm planting all of those in soybeans this time and uh, yeah we'll see how that goes so soybeans does sell for a consider considerable amount more money than canola but uh, yeah we'll see how it turns out so anyway we're gonna let this guy continue working and I get back with you here when we get a little farther along all right well we have just about got this field knocked out <laughs> sure don't take long I'll tell you but uh, <laughs> to give you some idea of how long it does take you remember the field over there that we cut in half uh, each each side of the the field uh, we harvested and I told you that running five harvesters it takes 12 hours uh, to harvest it well uh, running three of these planters each side took right at 10 hours to plant it. <laughs> yes. So if that gives you some idea of, you know, how big the field actually is. So, and it'll help you understand why I call these small fields. Uh, yeah. They're just small fields. Now, it won't be long, and we will be into the bigger fields, for sure. But, uh, and then we'll have all five harvesters running. Uh, we'll have a bunch of, bunch of tools operating in different f fields at the same time. So, but these small fields, yeah, uh, no reason for a bunch of multiple tools. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry.
So uh, you might ask, why do I use Big Bud uh, to pull this planter? And to be honest about it, Big Bud is the only one, uh, the only tractor uh, that we have that can pull this harvester. Uh, I think, let me check. Let me see what, how fast we're pulling it. All right, yeah, we're pulling it 16 or 17 mile an hour. Now, you ask, well, that's kind of not realistic. Well, you are right. Uh, that's not real realistic. That's the way I have them set. And for good reason. We're talking about covering thousands and thousands of acres. So, these guys have got to move on. They've, they've just got to move. they got to walk on. <laughs> uh, I don't have time by myself. I don't have time to, uh, you know, mess around with six mile an hour. I just don't. So, yes. Now, getting back to the reason. Uh that I use Big Bud, is this the only tractor that is healthy enough and has enough horsepower to pull the weight that it's pulling and do the job that it's doing and uh, keep the speed up. Now, some of the others will. They'll pull it. Uh, Case will pull it, John, the other John Deere will pull it, the big John Deere that I just used for mulching, it'll pull it, but it won't consistently hold the speed. So, anytime you're running multiple tools in the field, that's kind of important, is each one needs to hold their own, it needs to hold the speed. So, uh, you know, and that's just the way it goes. All right, let's, uh, all right, let's get this guy folded up. And we'll get him back down to the shop. And we've Got a job done today. All right. And I think uh, at this point, I think we'll call this a video. And if you've liked this video and you've liked this content, uh, please leave me a comment. Leave me a comment and tell me what you enjoy about it, what you don't enjoy about it. Uh, leave me a thumbs up. Tell me what you think. But as for me, uh, we've done a great job today. We've got a field planted. And tomorrow we'll be looking into selling a bunch of canola. So for today, as always, thank you for watching.